After this month, people will be able to buy marijuana legally, but only in one part of North Carolina. The Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians will open their dispensary on 20, uh, 420, giving access to pot for medical purposes. Our Capitol reporter Michael Hyland joins us now live in Raleigh. Michael, this is just happening days before the legislature comes back in session. Right, and they've been debating for years now whether to legalize medical marijuana, but have not passed a bill to do so. Supporters of it are going to try again during the session that's coming up. This dispensary that's opening is on the Kuala boundary in the western part of North Carolina. The Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians is still accepting applications from North Carolina residents for patient cards. Republican Senators Tom Tillis and Ted Budd recently wrote to the Attorney General raising a variety of legal concerns, including about transporting it and whether this could attract criminal organizations to the area. The General Assembly is split on legalization, with the Senate passing a bill once again last year to allow it. The House has resisted that, with some Republicans opposed for religious reasons and others questioning the idea of marijuana as medicine. I talked to advocate Chris Suttle as he was obtaining his marijuana card this week and House Speaker Tim Moore. Despite the outdated thinking of a lot of NCGA members who still look at, you know, films like Reaper Madness as a documentary instead of a farce, we have to change their minds. I think between gaming and, 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 and marijuana, about every lobbyist in the whole lobbying community has been retained on one side or another at this point. And so you're hearing the conversation and the chatter there. But in terms of members, I haven't heard really much. Republican Senator Bill Rabin has spearheaded this effort, saying marijuana helped him to get through his cancer treatments. Public polling has also consistently shown a large majority of voters in North Carolina do support legalization when it does come to medical uses. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, Queen City News.